Here we'll be using the SQL DF uh, package for R. It is one of the best packages for R, it, especially if you have a SQL background. It will allow us to execute SQL queries directly into R, but instead of using tables, we'll be using data frames. So we will be able to execute very, very complex queries um, in a very, very natural way. So in order to begin with this, get uh, into this website uh, and download bird.csp and person underscore ids.csp. So you can just go ahead and download them whatever you want. Here I downloaded them into YouTube SQL DF uh, folder. So if you um, execute this, you can see that what I have inside. Here I have a person ID, a name, a place where each person was born, and the age. And then for birth, I have for every person ID, I have the date when each person was born. Naturally, there is a, an issue here, is that we are reading dates uh, without properly uh, casting them into dates. And what will happen here is that R will think that these dates are factors instead of dates. So you can check that if you do a summary, um, do birth, you can see that born is here being treated as factor. These are the different levels that R is considering. So you can check one of the other uh, lessons that we place on YouTube where we explain how to cast uh, these uh, dates properly. So I will forget about this date uh, problem here and I will just focus on explaining how to use the SQL DF package. So naturally the first step here is to install the SQL DF package. So you can go on install packages and search for it here. So it will uh, install the package and you will be ready to go. So, ideally, um, before using this package, you should read a little bit about SQL. It is a very, very powerful uh, language and the syntax is very, very simple. So let's st start with an example. So I will be executing SQL DF and I will be selecting the name and the age from the person ID's uh, table or data frame um, where the age is greater than 20. Here an important thing is that I am executing the query directly on, an, on a data frame. This, this is not a SQL table. I don't have a database here. This is a data frame. This is very important. So if I execute this, you can see that uh, here I have what I wanted. I have the name and the age. So that's super cool. An important element here is that you might be wondering what is this function returning and what this function is returning is a list. So that's super, super important. So we can execute uh, a little more complex queries. So for example, assume you had to com you want to group by uh, name and you want to compute um, the amount of observations that you have for every uh, name. So th these things are rather difficult uh, with the base R syntax. But you can see that here this is very, very simple to use uh, or to get by using the SQL DF package. This is super easy, so we can execute this uh, here. And we have for every name, so Alfredo, Anna, and so on, and we have the number of occurrences that um, correspond to each name. So that's great. Now, an important thing here, I will be selecting everything from person IDs and I will be doing an inner join. So I'm, I will be merging this with the birth uh, table or birth data frame. Um, remember that both of them share a person ID, so I will be using this to merge them. So if I execute this, this will be stored into X. Uh, this is what I wanted. I have a person, name, place, age, um, a person again because I am selecting twice, once from the person IDs and then from the birth um, .csp. Um, that's because I'm using a select everything here. So I should be more, if, if, I, if I wanted to be more specific, I could list person, 
uh, from one of the tables. So person ID is the person and I, the name, place, age and born. In that case, person won't appear twice. So anyway, you can read more about SQL in, on, on specific websites, but um, the important element here is that this will be a list. So if I try to execute a query again on this result set, this won't work. This will throw an error. You can see that error in error, SQL lights, send query and so on, table X has not come. So this is not working. And the reason is because the SQL DF package is expecting a data frame, not a list. So this is a list. So in order to solve that, I can execute this um, statement and this will transform X into a data frame and now I can effectively run this query and this certainly returns um, the, the different uh, names so I, this is a select distinct I will be selecting all the different names that appear there so that's great um, and finally uh, we have a query that is a little more complex than the previous ones. So this is just to show you that the SQL DF is able to handle pretty much anything. And I will be using here a subquery. So what I will be doing here is first uh, executing this part inside the query. So the SQL engine or the SQL DF engine will first execute this. It will select the name and the count of age from person IDs group by name so this is the same as I, uh, that I was doing before but then with this result set I will be renaming or I will be renaming this result set as X an important thing is I will be running another query bef after that or before that if you want to s depending on how you see that and I will be selecting the name and the maximum in J or the maximum count of age that I observed so here you can see that the um, the maximum here was for Anna. Obviously, remember that here we had a few cases with the two, but um, the SQL DF engine just picked the first one. So anyway, the important uh, thing here is that we can use the SQL DF package to execute very complex uh, SQL queries uh, with just one line of code and this is much easier than using the standard R functions which are a little um, hard to learn.